Just think about today. Now is the good old days because someday you're gonna look back and you're gonna be like, whoa, those were the good old days and I didn't appreciate it. So now are the good old days and soak the moment up for everything that it is because you don't get it again. It is 4.30 a.m. I'm a little croaky. <laughs> um, I'm going to the OC with my mom. It's been a while since we've gotten away together, so I'm really excited. It's just heinously early, but um, we're gonna head for the airport soon, and um, I'll take you along with me to the beach. So let's go. <laughs> Luna Beach, here we come. Luna Beach. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. We are at Laguna Coffee Company. Mom's working. <laughs> working. It's like Disneyland on the weekends. So the line is like out the door. So we're here on a Tuesday at 2 p.m. and it's perfect because there's no lines. It's an odd hour and we get into our smoothies. Saigon Beach. What up guys? Okay, so I'm in Laguna Beach this week. Got away to the beach for a little bit with my mom. Here are my light bulb moments for this week. I've been in a different environment. I've been by the beach, walking around, all that stuff. Light bulb moment number one. With anything in life, do not be afraid to change things up, to experiment. In the beginning of things, you gotta experiment. I was so scared to change things up, experiment with content, but I feel like that is the only way to success. In the beginning of any journey, not just the content journey, but if you're starting anything new, experiment. It's okay. The beginning is actually the perfect time to experiment. So I've been changing things up this week, kind of experimenting with different types of content. And I'm trying to see what lands. I'm trying to see what I resonate most with and maybe what my potential audience and the small audience that exists right now, what might resonate with them. And I really enjoyed doing shorts this week. Reels have been so fun. And especially when you get to be out near the beach, it's kind of striking up some new inspiration in me. So that's been super fun this week. What I'm learning is we should not get caught up in, oh, I've been doing it this way, therefore I have to continue doing it this way. Experiment. That's what a new journey is all about. Okay, um, this crow really wants to say something. This crow is really trying to talk to me or you guys. <laughs> Number two, when you're feeling kind of like a mental freeze, like a mental stuckness, I think it's necessary to change up your environment. And you, that doesn't mean going to another state. No, you can go to the park, go for a long walk, take a route that you've never taken before. I've been to Laguna Beach many times, but I have been used to going the same route on walks but this trip i've been really intentional about taking different paths oh taking a left turn that i never took before and i'm like wow i never knew that that was there being open to new discoveries being open to new paths can open your eyes up to something that you never thought you'd see staying kind of locked up in an office or in the same environment or at home it wasn't bringing any inspiration to me. And so if you can just go for a long walk or go to the water, hear the waves crash, go to the mountains, whatever you can do in the environment that you're in, in the home, you know, wherever you live, 
I feel like that is such a great way to get the blood flowing again and just to feel some inspiration. Here's a third light bulb moment is I was realizing that all the times that I visited my mom here when she lived here, when I was in my late 20s, early 30s, I was in this beautiful environment and there should have been nothing wrong. Looking back at that girl, she was so unhappy. She was so miserable and empty inside, but she didn't know it. And this is a really significant trip for me because I finally feel like wow, I, I am where my feet are. I feel present and I feel this new sense of strength at my core. You know, I feel grounded. It makes me a little bit sad because I wish that I could go back and all those countless times that I came to visit my mom, being in this setting, I really could have just soaked it up because nothing was wrong really in my life, but everything was wrong in here. And this time, ironically, it is the hardest year of my life. But finally, being in this setting, I feel like I'm able to really appreciate it and really be grateful for it. So this trip is really special. It's just really brought about a lot of light bulb moments for me and it's brought a lot of reflection for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm just feeling really thankful right now and, and thankful that I get to spend alone time with my mom. We gotta just appreciate where we are more than most of us do because you look back and you think, man, those were the good days. Why wasn't I appreciating that? Why wasn't I present? So now are the good days. I mean, no matter what challenges you're going through, I've had a hell of a year. It's been the ch most challenging year. But even in this year, I found in the little to big moments, true joy that I never felt before. And I think that you can do that. Like, just think about today, now is the good old days because someday you're going to look back and you're going to be like whoa those were the good old days and i didn't appreciate it so now are the good old days and soak the moment up for everything that it is because you don't get it again thanks for coming along with me this week and i will see you next week mm -hmm.